everyone, it's Tamim here, back in another video, how are you all, hope you guys are doing well, hope you guys had a lovely weekend, um, whether it was preparing for school, or I just hope, I just hope you had a good time, really. So as you guys, um, some of us are now gone back to school, I personally left school ages ago, so I'm in college, so today's video is going to be a back to college haul. So yeah, um, so before we get on with the actual video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, which is right here. Without saying anything else now, let's hit it to the intro. Right, so going back to college, really, you don't really need quite a lot. Um, it's just that basically you have to buy everything yourself because you're basically an adult and basically I Didn't get that many stuff because I don't really need some of the stationery, but I just got it just in case so uh, Let's just get on with the actual video. <laughs> so yeah, so the first thing that I got is my favorite pens These I use them every single year and I also use them every single day as well because I use it to write in my journal and these are the big crystal, yeah, big crystal grips, sorry, just um, forgot what they were called at first. So these are really good and they make my handwriting look so nice. They just look like this and I've always used Bic. Um, I think Bic pens are really nice and these are just really good. They make my handwriting look very clear and very neat. So yeah, so this is my second box. Well, actually, I had this box for nearly a year now because um i always take a few and put them in my pencil case and then i keep half of it at home so it comes in handy a lot so i got a box of those so the next thing that i have is these these are um tipex but like um how do you call them mini pocket mouse ones and <laughs> that's what they're called right here and these are just from tesco that i get um every year um this is actually well, I don't get them every year. I usually get the ones in a bottle, but I just wanted to um, wanted to try something different. And this is just really, you know, it just looks really easy to use. And as you can see, I took one out and for some reason I took it out and I don't remember where I put it. So I'm going to have to go look for that one because I don't really want to take another one out of this pack. So this is just going to stay home um, if, you know, in case if I need it. So I got some of those. So the next thing I've got is obviously you need notepads to write in notes and because I'm doing science um, I realized with last year I only used one um, notebook like this and I only used and it's upside down actually yeah so yeah so I used a big notepad like this but I only had one for every subject so obviously in science you get the basic you get physics um, biology and chemistry and I basically used the same book throughout the whole year and I didn't bother changing it lasted me a whole year so that was good um but this year i decided to go different i decided to get um different book a uh, different notepad sorry for each um subject so here we have chemistry we have biology and we have physics so i got three of these these came in a pack of five from amazon and honestly i still got two left so that's gonna last me for quite a long time so these new notebooks will come in handy for sure let's just put that down here for a bit and the next thing that i've got is these basically i don't like using um big ring, ring binders or arch binders wherever they're called i don't really like them because i feel that they take too much space in the bank and also they're very heavy to carry and honestly i've been carrying them for nearly two years and this shoulder is literally um, I'm really scared if it dislocates because um, it really hurts that time and I do get a lot of shoulder pain which is not good and that's why I need to start reorganizing things and you know how many books I take and all that jazz so I got these like folders that you can put just like loose sheets in and then what I did last year I did the same with last year I labeled them again with chemistry biology and so on and basically I just put any loose notes any worksheets in here so just for safekeeping and I just keep it in a plastic folder and it just stays safe so the next thing that I've got is obviously my pencil case I'm just going to go through it now, what we have in here. It's a really nice pencil case. I love this pencil case. I had it last year and I just don't really want to change it because I just like it. It's really flowery, very floral and just looks really nice. So when we go in the actual pencil case, this is all the content. don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so basically I'm just going to pull out 
each pen and um, each object and just tell you a little bit about it really so obviously we have a highlighter i I tend to take only one highlighter because why do you need a whole pack in there so i take one and this is just the one that i picked out basically also i have a little mini stapler in here because some of the um work they're not really stapled all the time so i have like a mini stapler this i had for years um in my stationary drawer but i haven't really used it so i've just been checking out so this isn't really new um i've just been um checking it out if it works and it does so i'm just gonna just put this in here now just in case if i need to staple anything so here we have the um two picks which is this one i personally like this one because it's just easier to use but however it does get a little bit messy but like i said with the tape ones i'm gonna see that's my first time using it so i'm gonna see if it works and if it doesn't then well i'll give it to someone who needs it but um this is just my favorite one and it's just basic and but like i said it gets a little bit messy so moving on the next thing we have is like you know so these pens i haven't really used them before but i have heard some good reviews um about these pens so that's why i just got two two of those i don't know where the other one is it's here somewhere and obviously we've got more big pens so i just got like a few of my favorite um you know black and then i have i think it's a green or something i don't know <laughs> um so yeah so i always have extra extra pens with me and when I was shopping in Wilco, I think I went a little bit crazy. I ended up getting these pens, which I probably won't use. But because I like doodling a lot um, during, not during lesson, on my free time, um, I'm just going to sit down and just draw with these. Sorry about the background noise. Someone is cutting down the tree outside and is making a lot of noise. I've been hearing that noise pretty much all day and it's really annoying. Back to the video. So I got these pens. I went a little bit overboard. But then again, I just thought that, you know what, it might come in handy when I have some free time. You can just do a little bit of drawing and these just came to my mind. So that's why they're in there. I've got a few of them. Then what I have, so yeah, see look, more pen, more pen, more pens. <laughs> I don't have a sharpener for some reason because I couldn't find one. So I'm going to have to get a sharpener one. I have a mini ruler that I can just put in here because the... With the long rulers, you know, you have to, they won't obviously fit in the pencil case, so I'm going to have to put it in the bag. But if I, that's why I just got this one, I just have it in there. So I do have a long one and I do have a short one as well. I just think it's just easier basically having two. So, yeah, all of them, the rest of them are pens. So, like I said, I'm obsessed with Bic, as you guys know. And then I got the other pens that for just art and doodling. And also I got this little rubber, which says Classmate. And I got a whole pack of these from Amazon and they come in handy. I use them for my drawings and I use and it's just really good as well. And it's really small as well, it's not really huge. I like small rubbers, so this is just a basic one basically. And the rest of them are just pens basically, so that's good. So that's what's in the pencil case. Last thing, last thing that I have, well not the last thing, I say that but just look Few more bits that i have so it's the ruler that i told you guys about so this is the flexible one it's still in its packaging i just got this stuff yesterday and um i haven't really got anything ready for tomorrow i mean i start college tomorrow but it's just induction i had induction last week as well but then apparently my tutor emailed me saying that all this week is just going to be induction so that's absolutely fine so yeah, I just got this just in case if you need it when you're drawing, you know, for for example in physics, we do a lot of graph work. So this, you know, this lovely thing right here will um, hopefully come in handy. And it's really flexible as well. I really, I've, I've always, you know, liked these um, rulers. They're really flexible. And yeah. So the last thing that I have, well, I keep saying the last thing when there is more, honestly. It's a bag that my little brother got me i honestly love this bag it looks really you know comfortable it doesn't really look that big but it is there's so much you can fit in here and the compartment there's only one compartment and it just basically looks like that and honestly when he got this for me i was really happy which basically meant that i didn't have to go outside and buy a bag i think you can just pretty much you know get any bag it doesn't have to look that amazing with me this is just a little bit basic and i actually am fine with that it's very simple but i don't care i'm actually quite fine with that so that's the bag 
that I will take in my books in. So the next thing that I have is obviously I take two bags to college, believe it or not, I take two bags. So then I also take this one. So this is again, it came with, um, it came with this one and basically it's just really good. I take this one outside, outside with me and it's just like my everyday bag. And I have a, a little carrier bag that, you know, one of those portable um, ones. And this just has basically all my personal stuff in it, like my phone, my, you know, Oyster card, um, chargers, uh, what else? Hand sanitizer, my, you know, that's basically why I put everything in here. It's just, you know, it's just really helpful. I don't like putting things in the big bag because I tend to lose them. And basically I just take two bags. And now you're probably wondering, that's probably why you get shoulder pains yeah it is that and honestly it's not good and i and i kind of want to you know um stop taking two bags but it's just easier to have two bags even though it does get a little bit tiring after carrying and dragging them around but honestly i'm used to it now i've been doing it for quite a long time i i used to do that um in the beginning of college as well so nothing has changed there so i think that's pretty much it that's all the stuff that i got for college um so yeah back to college really nervous <laughs> really guys hope you enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions below um below if you guys have any question that you would like to ask me make sure you comment down below um i'll link all of my social medias right here if not they should be down in the description box below um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel as there are more videos coming your way and hopefully i stick to the schedule this week um, I am planning on sticking to the schedule so stay tuned for videos that are coming up and please subscribe honestly just subscribe it's gonna be fun I guess <laughs> well I hope it is anyway um, so yeah so that's it from me I hope you guys enjoy this video take care of yourselves enjoy your first week back at school if you go back this week or next week I just hope you enjoy it and good luck and hopefully you focus on success and I shall see you all soon bye guys